All right, guys, this is your average Texas redneck yet again with another video. I got my sister in the car. I'm taking her to the grandparents' house. Anyway, I actually forgot to open my video, so that's why I'm doing it right now. So, uh, got like I said, I got my little sister, Armina. She's filming for me right now. Yeah. And uh, making my way to the grandparents' house. Uh, as you can tell from the video, that uh, I'm working on Holly today, which is uh, my 1985 Chevy C10. Uh, but before you do that, I, before I spoil spoil y'all with the C10 uh, rebuilding, I gotta go mow the lawn. So enjoy that. Shop and uh, we're now so at the shop. We're gonna get Paul's penis face. Yep, that's okay. <laughs> He's, All right, so like I said, well, we got done with the mowing part of this section, so now we're gonna get working on the truck. Oh, and this is my new camera. I got this about a week ago. That's right, and I love it already. Yeah, and we're gonna test it out today. Yeah. Sounds good, don't it? It's good. <laughs> Alright guys, um, there's actually a song by uh, Chase Rice, the, uh, I guess you can call him a country singer, it's not, the, not really country country, but sure, but uh, there's a lyric where it says there's an old uh, dusty Bible on the dash, so got me one to just leave on the dash, and I brought my C10 sticker, so I'm going to set that right there and just let it be there. And uh, I don't really have a place to put the sticker yet, so we'll just leave that there. All righty, let me give you all a uh, look of the Suburban. We cannibalized it, as y'all can tell from the title of this video, is we cannibalized the Suburban. And uh, all I got left to do to take this apart is disconnect some of the wiring, crap, all this m mangled stuff. And then take apart the AC compressor lines. And then this thing will just slide right off. And that'll be good. Uh, what I have left to take off the truck. There's a grill fender hood. Um, I got the same same uh, compressor lines and radiator lines to take off. And uh, that's pretty much it. That took about six hours. I apologize for not filming a whole lot of it. But... Uh, I mean, I was busy working. Well, daylight saving times made it where our day lasts a little longer. Normally the sun would be done and set by now, but we still got time to clean up and have a good time. So I'm gonna clean up the uh, my tools, my tools, and uh, be on our way out of here. Oh, let me show you a tip. You ever taken apart a vehicle, right? And you have missing bolts, whatever, that can go together. I taped a bunch of bolts that go to the wheel well, and I taped them together when they go together. You see how I put them back in there? That way you don't lose any bolts. It makes things a lot easier, so use that tip. And here's our trash we got so far. Battery tray, water bottles, 
Gatorade, lab all. We got the crowd thing off this thing. That flap that goes to a little end right there, the fender. A uh, few lot, but a few little headlight bezels and springs, stuff like that that I might and actually have to use later. But it opens more than what it did. Just enough to squeeze in here. Oh my god! There. All right, sent the truck and it's super hot in here, so I'm gonna make this really nice and short and sweet. This is a lot of work, as y'all can tell. This is so far the third video of me re rebuilding my truck. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my grandpa over there. He's chillaxing. Yeah, so uh, shout out to him. He's helped helped out a lot. Uh, tomorrow I'll actually be out here with Harrison after we get done with our morning chores, and me and me and you, me and him will uh, will tell y'all. Uh, what our morning chores uh, consist of and uh, how much of a pain it will be. <laughs> so uh, look, be on the lookout for that video, so that should be out pretty soon. Uh, Alright guys, all I gotta really say to finish this off today is uh, go and subscribe if you're new. Uh, leave a comment down below what you think, any tips to help me out, get through this build a little faster. Um, crap, if you have uh, any, uh, pull, any pulleys or a motor fan, I guess is what you call it, the little fan that goes in the front, or a radiator for a 305 Chevy small block. Leave a comment down below if you're local in the Texas Panhandle area. Uh, leave a comment down below, and if you have one, and because uh, I'm, I'm needing one still, and that's really the com engine components I'm needing. And uh, yeah, go on, subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment down below about those, all those things. Uh, go and check out my buddy, my buddies. Uh, Santa Texas Renick and Looney Planet 1350. Uh, their channels will be in the description down below. They always are. So go and check them out. All right, go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram to get all the behind the scene looks. So, with all that mess out of the way that just came out of my mouth, stay country.